is that? That is a dog who knows how to find sun and loves it. Good boy. Ah, I even just cleaned the window, giving you extra... Well, hi, Finn. Yeah. But magic, is that the best? Uh-oh. What's that, Finn? That is Cassie walking her dog. Georgie! That's Finn's friend, Georgie. Wimpy little pooch, don't you see? The great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. Yeah, that's what it is. Doing all right. Magic's got a sweater. And it's a great makeshift kitchen someone likes to come in and get in and eat some of the stuff in the pantry and we can't have that let's go outside let's go outside come on Finn, no wrestling So I've got the boys in the car. We're gonna go for a little lunch. I just wanted to show you. We take the Kurgo safety harness. It's on. It's got a big tether. Tether's on a hook. Hook is provided to this, and it goes into the child safety seat. Now, I'm sure there's better places I could attach it, but this at least keeps them restrained and not running around. And over here, we have the same thing for Mr. Magic. He's got his harness on right there. And this is the tension, this is the uh, tether. Okay, so we got a pillow for them and they're calm. Good boys. Okay, so we're just gonna go get some lunch or something. Get out of the house. We got contractors everywhere. And I have the boys all tethered in. The most popular video I have is Great Dane Puppy meets Boxer Puppy. And in that video, it went global. And I got tons of feedback from people outside the United States about why aren't the dogs harnessed? Why aren't the dogs, you know, put in a situation where they can't move around? And so since that time, I've partnered with PetSafe, Kurgo, and they are great channel partners. You can find their link in the description but the harnesses, also the jackets, and it's really been great because now the dogs um, can't go anywhere they want in the car. They're much calmer. They're not as reactive to other dogs. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. Now we're gonna head out and get some food. So the other thing that I got a lot of feedback on was having the windows open. And so basically in the neighborhood under 25 miles an hour, I let the dogs have access to the window. Um, can't really hurt anything. This is the other benefit of them being tethered. You can see that's the most he can get out the window. And so no risk of him falling out the window or wanting to go attack some dog. And on the topic of attacking a dog, I do have a Z collar on. I'm holding the remote because in the event we come across a dog 
and he doesn't react appropriately, meaning don't bark, don't growl, what have you, um, I can give him a stimulus if need be, uh, starting with an audible tone, but then certainly uh, a stimulus if he is not appropriate. Now he has been great. I took him on a solo walk uh, yesterday without magic. And w if I just have one dog, I can really focus on their training. And Finn was great. We went by all kinds of dogs and they did not react. Um, when they're together, one triggers the other. And oftentimes we end up with a reaction that I can't necessarily control. So I'd like to see how that's going. Okay, so I used magic with these preschoolers and uh, he just did great. Check it out. It's called a Great Dane. Great Dane. Is he dumb or was he not? You know what I mean? Great Dane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't have to be afraid of his mouth. Just keep your hand out like this. He might not even want to sniff. And he just wants to look at you. Don't run away. When he brings his nose to you, don't run away like that. Just, just stand your ground. Okay? Yeah, he's going to look at you. He's going to sniff you. He wants to know what all these new smells are. So that's good. He's just going to sniff. He's just going to sniff. Everybody, guys, you got to stay calm. you got to be quiet and calm around the dog. What do you think of magic? Is he something else? Now, if I, now the other dog is named Finn. If Finn came out here, he would lick every one of your faces, and I don't think we want to, right? We'll have to just. What's that? That's the clock tower of Hudson. We're right at downtown. Having a little lunch on the green. What's up? Stay. Stay. Uh, lunch is complete. We're gonna go throw out. Oh, a successful little lunch and walk in our downtown area. The boys got to say hi to some people and it all went good. Let's get in the car. Woo, success. Got Panera, took it to the green, had the dogs out. Uh, a couple came over and said hello. We didn't have to meet any dogs, which was fortunate because that's just too much to deal with. Magic will be fine, but the combination of Finn and Magic, too much. Hey, Finn. Hey, Finn. Good boy. Beautiful. Hudson, Ohio. Founded in 1799 by David Hudson. He came out from Connecticut to establish the Connecticut Western Reserve. This was the westernmost part of the United States at that time. And anyone from Connecticut who was willing to come out to this five by five mile township uh, could become part of this new community. And it's just fantastic. And Magic's just content to enjoy the car ride. He doesn't need a big wind in his jowls. And now it's time for Beef Feast in Gravy Grilled from Fancy Feast. Let's see how the kittens like this. Mmm, here we go. Boy, you know who else likes Fancy Feast? That'd be Finn and Magic. Get out of my way. It's kitten food. Oh. Hello. 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 How are you? They're such good stretchers. And let's try out a little beef feast. The turkey was a hit. Hmm. Good kitties. We'll check back later. Wildlife abounds. This is a Katie did. Looks like a damn leaf. Did you get a picture yet? Does that light help you? Mm 
You're a good kitty. You are such a good kitty. And we got one right down there. And we got it living with this big plastic wall. Mm. Such a purr machine. Thanks for tuning in. Just another little outing with the Danes. You got to take them out and about, get them socialized, get them used to all things new. Have a great, great day. Dane in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just as good?